Hi everybody, Tim Bartz here, uh, the Air Ford video guy with a uh, video uh, for you. And uh, so yeah, we got uh, some pretty cool stuff happening this week. Uh, this is a Sunday before our vacation. We are for vacation. My wife and I are going to Colorado. Uh, my wife didn't get a chance to go to Bronco Supercell in Colorado last year in September um, and we drove some pretty cool trails and everything and she was like really bummed that she wasn't able to go so I said hey well next summer let's go back let's hit a couple of the trails that we hit uh, when we went up there and uh, let's just have a three-day off-road drive Colorado so we're headed to Buena Vista Colorado real soon and we're taking the camper so we're going to stay at uh, the same camper campground we did when we went to supercell beautiful campground nice back bathhouse as you know no bathrooms in here so and uh we need a shower every day that's just the way we are anyway so small little camper if you haven't seen i did a walk around of this camper not too long ago but in this video what we're going to tell you is some of the things that we put in our camper that we felt like were necessities for us <laughs> No, we're not hardcore campers. We're not hardcore off-roaders that are going to go off-road and take this up on the trails and the campground at one of those campgrounds. Uh, but we're going to show you some things that we think we need. And uh, this is only their second camping trip. So <laughs> let's take a look and see what we have in the camper. Okay, just going to remind you guys, uh, this is the E-Pro Flagstaff. It, seats, it sleeps two. Uh, and uh, so... There you go. It does have real nice uh, off-road tires and suspension, so we could go up into the trails if we wanted to. Again, most of those campgrounds and such will not usually have bathroom, maybe bathrooms, but no shower houses and such like that. We do actually have a water hose at the back, so we could pop that open and we have a privacy thing out the back that we could shower out the back. Um, but yeah, bathrooms, you know how that works. Anyway, so, but this is a real nice one because it has two batteries. It does have solar on the top, so right now, uh, I did plug it in to get the, the temperature cooled down. I think it was, it's, it's 103 degrees today. It's been 100 degrees most days. Um, but I get it cooled down, powered in, and uh, I shut that off. And I still learned how to use the power to generate and keep things, the AC going. So I got the AC on, but it's not, it turned back off. So anyway, it's, I think it's like 78, 80 degrees in there, but we'll be all right. A uh, couple things that we do, I make sure we have our camp chairs. Uh, so these are those swing ones. I don't know if you guys have seen these. We left the tags on these. We actually had some others and we upgraded to these. Um, but those are the really fun swing chairs and uh, they're very comfortable. So we got one for each of us there. That'll probably go in the back of the Bronco or I'll put them in the camper. Depends on how much room we have in the Bronco. But I'll show you the Bronco too. We don't have a lot um, in the back of the Bronco. So we should be okay because everything else is in here. Uh, so there we go. Um, now we do have a galley off the back with some storage, with some things. I did not unlock that. I don't think I'll show you the back of that today. Uh, but let's jump in here and show you what all we got. Now we do have a stove top and we do have the griddle. So um, the, now these here, if you watch that video, they go on this rail. You can put both of them on there at the same time. So we do have the stove tops just right there. We'll take it out, put it on when we get to the campsite. Um, and then in this, uh, we actually made this little Tupperware and I'll show you what's in there in a second, but one, the, the bottom, which you won't be able to see when we open it up, is the griddle for this. Um, we do have this nice, these are, uh, you know, levels. If we need to, uh, if we're a little unlevel and we need a little bit of a lift left to right, um, then we can put, take these out and put the tires up on those and those work real well. We don't need them to chalk or to block our tires. We have those back there, which are really nice. So we'll have that. So let's put this off to the side. I'm not gonna take the stove top out of there. Of course, a power cord to keep us going. We have an electric campsite that we're going to uh, for that. Um, we do have this nice handy step. So this is pretty cool little step here. Hopefully my gimbal doesn't mess up on me here. But this step uh, kind of stands up. And see if we can get this, do this one-handed. I do have a GoPro that I can put on my head, but I didn't wanna do that for this video. There we go. You get the idea. Let me put it up and I'll get and we'll get back to this. All right, so there's that step and it does you can see adjust height-wise and so we can put this here. Uh, that step is kind of as you can see it's kind of like tucked down. It's you barely reachable and it's hard to find when you're getting out. But we found this step works well. We can extend those out and we can get into the camper a lot better. Uh, we do have, this is actually the carpet mat the camper <laughs> gave to us uh, that they used to get in and out of it. Uh, we do have uh, a couple different rugs, as you can see here. 
uh, that we that we purchased that we're going to buy and put in in here uh, if we need to. Of course, always have paper towels and some washcloths and such in there. Uh, we actually can't. This is a slide out, so we has to be pulled out, uh, and then we slide it in each day. So we go because of that. We don't do sheets and such on a bed. If it was staying down, it'd be one thing, but it's not. So uh, we just do the sleeping bags. So we'll take those out of the covers, and then we'll just lay the sleeping bags there. And then when in the morning when we get up, um, one person will get out because there's not much. When this is completely out, there's not much room. Just fold those up, and we'll put them over. We usually put them over to the side. One of the things we do want to do, we haven't done yet, and uh, is put up, this is kind of a, an area that's not used much. And so we're gonna put like a netting up. Like I don't know if you guys were younger and you guys had like your stuffed animals on the wall, and I didn't, but you know, some of the girls would in their rooms, um, then you can hang that netting. We're gonna, we're gonna put a netting up and put sleeping bags and pillows into there, up against there and out of the way, but there you go. So let me jump in here. The wife did, uh, get this right here this is pretty cool i think we got this at uh, dunham but i think a lot of people in different places have them but it's like a kitchen uh, set here it's got all kinds of skillets and different things in there Let's see if i can get this out without messing it up too much but you can see there's different containers in here uh, a couple different ones in there uh, actually we're gonna do it probably do a video on this because the wife wants to participate in that and i'm like oh you want to do a video with me that's awesome uh anyway so there you go um so what might we do the video at the campsite on this here and how that works but it's uh you know it has all kinds of different things in there um there you go so i'll put that away later um all right now let's move around see what's in this tote here now we do have this here uh, we do this with our shoes in our house and we just put all the dirty shoes you know that are wet muddy that kind of stuff on those so we got one of these that we'll put up and probably put it um probably over here and put all our, our dirty shoes and stuff on or right outside the campsite because we have an awning uh, and we can put our dirty shoes and all that on there. So that's something we didn't use on the first camping trip that we're gonna try out this camping trip and see how it goes. All right, this big tote in here that we take out and it actually fits on the counter on the back galley, um, but we do have the coffee pot. Cannot go without coffee first thing in the morning. Get up, start the coffee, uh, usually the wife is, is on that duty because she usually sleeps on the outside. She'll usually will have the coffee maker already set up and she'll go ahead and get the first cup going. I say, yes, I'll take a, <laughs> take some. Uh, the toaster we haven't used uh, yet. We got this and added to it. Uh, towel in there to kind of help protect that griddle and everything under there. Because um, I think that's the only other thing that's in there other than that. So there you go. That's what's on that. Of course, coffee. We need coffee pots and coffee mugs. So there you go, we got a couple. We got this in a towns in Tennessee when we were there. So we got two matching ones there. Um, we got um, a couple from La MacArthur. We can put in the Bronco too, because they got the, the Molly Yellow. We don't have a Molly system on the back of our Bronco, but Happy Camper. We got a couple of these little, little tin ones. I got some Bronco ones too. Uh, there you go, that'll probably store up in here. Uh, we got some washcloths, a mirror that hangs. So that mirror can can hang. We can put it on the desk too. So if we need to, we can do that. Uh, not sure what's in the Bucky's bag. Something we got a Bucky's anyway. But we'll probably put, store all those mugs up there for travel. In there, man, it's already gotten up to 93. Whew. It is getting warm in here. Okay, and then we don't right now. I don't think we have too much in here. This is where we usually store a lot of our um, towels and stuff for showering and all that. We'll usually put that down in there. So, and the only other storage we have is right here. So again, not much storage in here, um, but in here is a bigger, a bigger one. I usually bring the drill. What I like about this is when you need to put those jacks down, uh, I just use this drill and the attachment uh, that comes with it and just, it just lowers it down so fast. Do have a uh, weather radio in here. It also, it's a multifunction, also has a lantern too. Uh, of course, gotta have that. And the hose, I got cool toolkit back there. That kind of stuff in there um i think we got some ponchos as well i think that's what's in the bucky's bag do have water hose down there of course to hook up our water if we need to and then we got a little broom in there and a little extension in case we don't have the right uh, hookup we got one right there oh i forgot to show you these these here i got actually at an auto um thing here let me put this up hold on want to see the roof um these are pretty cool they're collapsible 
So you just pull that out. This comes out and it's collapsible. Put, put it on there. Thank you, Auto Alert. We don't use them, but here you go. Put your coffee in there. Put it in there so it's collapse, collapsible. You could actually put it in your bag on the grill for the trail if you want to. And it's nice and it's rubber silicone, so it's pretty nice. So, oh, I forgot. You do have to open it up to get it to close. There you go. That's pretty cool. Just put that in there and uh doesn't take up a lot of room. So I got those and said, hey, we can use them for that. And then right after that, or right before that, is when we, <laughs> she got the mugs. So there you go. All right. And this last little one, we decided to get these little containers. There we go. Containers to put things in here. Uh, have to have lights. So we do have a headlamp for each one of us uh, to go to the bathroom, that kind of stuff. Setting up campsite. Have another little flashlight. Got with one of my watches. I got a light that I haven't put on yet that I want to put outside. There's not a light outside the camper, and so I want to have a little light, so we'll probably put that on. And then this is an adapter for you to plug into regular outlet, which I did earlier. So there's that. So those lights sit on top. What else is in here? I don't even, I can't remember what else in all half this stuff. So this is all a surprise here for the video. Um, oh, a couple hooks. If we want to be able to hang some th things up. So my thought was towels, so we could put those hooks right up there and hang the towels on them. So that's the way those towels can dry before we throw them away. Um, this in here is just a kind of a wrap to so wrap hoses. I use one for the white one. And then this in here is for my electrical hose, but I don't have it connected right now. These here go real nice and easy to on these here. These are pretty magnetic. I don't think they're gonna open, but just in case we can use those. These are just those safety first on uh, child locks. So you can just put those in there. I got two of those, one for each of those. This is the what I use for lowering the jack or the I mean see the support um, brackets in the back. I don't know why I can't think of the word right now. Somebody will correct me. And then a level. And what I do like about this not being on the on it is that I can move it around. So I can I can level it out on the side, uh, on the front, side to side, and everything. Um, that's really nice. So that's in here as well. Um, so there you go. And then this is like an extension for the hose. Like I said, we. Got that, it came with the camper. So that's in there. What else is in there? Anything else? Oh yeah. We got, we have a, another little lantern back there we use for, for our tent. And we also had a, uh, a bug or mosquito repellent thing back there too. And I believe we've only used it once. It did work pretty good. And then in here we do have for our walkies to be able to charge those before we go. And then an, an air hose here that we don't probably need uh, anymore. Again, some of the stuff from the tent just migrated over we have some gloves there as well so if i don't want to get my hands dirty setting up the uh you know hooking up and everything else i'm set to go there just put those all back in there and last time when we went we didn't have any of these little containers and things were just like in there and so when you opened it up guess what happened yep you know what <laughs> everything just fell out on us um and so that way hopefully they won't fall out but there you go all right, let me put this back and see what else I want to talk about. All right, I said we're going to open this up, but I am. These here don't uh, hook up as uh, tight. These don't aren't magnetic, so we usually use those on this here, but not this one because it usually closes, gives us room. Now, what do I have up here? Oh yeah, now I remember. Okay, so this is the uh, the canopy that goes around the outside and hooks to these magnetic strips right here. So if I want to, we could hook the nozzle to this and hook up to our water and be able to take a shower off the back. So that's what that is for right there, if I want to, if we want to use that. Now we do also have a nice little grilling set here uh, that we got. Sorry for the camera angle there, I totally missed that, but here you go. So that's pretty cool, we found that and I thought that might be very useful for grilling and such at the campsite, so we have that. And uh, I know you're probably gonna ask me, I have no idea where we got that. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I actually got it at Denim as well. Um, and then the, the uh, camper place did give us a um, one of their custom, uh, actually it's Forest River. There you go. And then we got some things to start a campfire. We also have, can't forget about the s'more sticks. We need those 
for the campfire because that will probably happen every night this week. Um, so since we will, you know, we'll probably do that every night. Um, and then down here we do have, here's the hose. If we want to um, connect that up, we can do that with this here. And we even have a hose, a uh, different hose connector there and a different support arm for this. So they look the same. Maybe it's just an extra one in case I need it. Anyway, there you go. So you just unhook, unconnect that there and you connect this hose up to it and you set this shower head on this hook right here. And then you just take a shower off the back if you want to. So um, anyway, and then this course is where we do have a refrigerator uh, and everything in here. So uh, I did want to look at this because I was looking, nope, no freezer, just a refrigerator. So we'll use our cooler probably because we do have a cooler in the Bronco as maybe our freezer. And then of course we have a microwave, which we have not used yet. Yes, it's a little out of whack, we'll fix that later. Anyway, there we go, bottle opener as well. Kind of cool. And then this um, comes up as a table and yeah, yeah, I showed you guys to walk around on this, but, and then all the stuff for the lights and everything under there. So there we go, there is that. All right, so there is, there's that on the camper, some of the stuff that we need. I can bring over the Bronco, um, cause usually what we're doing is we're gonna go camping uh, so that we can go, we're gonna take the Bronco, wouldn't we take the camper to go camping and we're gonna be going probably doing some off-road and stuff like that. So let me show you what I have in the back of the Bronco. All right, in here we do have our Rough Country Cooler. I don't know if I've done a video on this yet. I've done a couple of videos, but I don't know if I've actually used the video. But here's our cooler. Uh, we do actually, I need to put them on this side, but we do have all of the stickers that people sent us on this side. I don't know why I did it on that side. Anyway, so we have this strapped in so it won't move around on us. And uh, it runs the plug, runs from there and around. And it does have an extra battery pack in here. So you can, you know, we can have this go on and we'll have it cooled off. Um, and you can use it. You can go as cold as you want, choose your temperature, and we can make this a freezer if we want. Um, and, and that kind of stuff. Do we have water still in there? Hey, we still have waters from our last trip. And we have more waters for our next trip. So we like these little Fuji waters. Anyway, um, so there you go. That's that has a cutting board and everything, but we'll take this uh, on the trail. So we'll camp pack up our, our lunch and such and this and beverages and we'll have those in here that plugs in the back and then you while we're driving it's staying you know it's charging up the battery and the cooler and everything and then at night the battery is good enough that it keeps at the same temperature all night long which is really nice um i know you're probably seeing what do you what's what's with just a couple there i'll get the others on i have a bunch of, of the patches that we'll put on the back of that those seats here uh, when i get a chance and of course i do have my uh um, compressor back here. I do go with the portable one. You guys can't see that. I do like to go with the portable one. This is the Thor's light, lightning bolt one. I like to go with that one because in that way, if I want to put it in a different vehicle, I can do that. And that's nice. Uh, my tool bag. Uh, somebody's asked me to do a video on what I have in my tool bag. I might do that at some point, but not in this video. Uh, but there's my tool bag. I do have the hang in there gift for your Bronco. If you guys remember that, if you got an early one. First aid kit stuff as well in here uh, that I have in the Bronco. And then one of my favorite features of the Bronco is this mountains to metal attic tray. I'm supposed to use it to support it. Now, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get this to work, but my traction boards will go up here and fit on top of this rack. You guys can't see. Hold on. There you go. So this is the mountains to metal attic, attic tray and i've done a video on this check it out um, i love it um, it's a great system i have a bunch of stuff in there but on top i can actually my traction boards do fit on the top you might ask why do you put it on top and not the bottom because now you got to lift it up to get to your stuff most of this stuff is recovery items so we have the the wraps and everything what we're going to need for the winch and everything else well, that kind of makes sense. Traction boards, recovery stuff. Although these here, that's my air to up and down kit. So I might bring that down here, but for right now, I have it there and I have these bungee corded up. All I got to do is loosen this one right here. Don't take it all the way up. And it's enough that I can pull that back and get to it. So we're going to see how this does. I'm going to drive it to work um, and have some fun with it. I have to move that around but for my winch. But anyway, um, that's working and it shuts and it doesn't touch. I don't think. Anyway, I'm liking it. So if I put it under here, it actually will not work because of the speakers. See how it, it kind of comes up over the speaker right now? 
right now it sits in uh, right above the speaker so it works so that's what we're going to do and i know some people i love some ideas from you put them in the comments um, i love some other system but with the cloth top you know a roof rack isn't going to work for that um, i have seen some on the tire the spare tire um, that i got and the one i got did not work so anyway i could have them in the back but hopefully these will stay quiet i might need to fasten down a little bit more it looks like but i kind of like that that's one of my favorite features. It's a little pricey. I think it was like four, $400, but boy, is it worth it. Maybe a little more than 400. I like it. All my stuff in there. I like it. And one of my second favorite things was this IAG. So Mountains of Metal and IAG have hooked me up. Um, so I have this too that I really like. Just release it and it lets that go up and then I can pull it down with one hand real nice and easy love that as well so we have those in the bronco um and i do have the four tire air up and air down and this week we're going to be doing that a lot at least uh, three days so we're going to do a video on the air up air down system as well and how good and fast it works we're going to show you real time setting it up and everything else and we have uh, my wife film me going through the whole steps of it so you can see how easy it is and if you have like air compressor on board it might be even faster but we're going to show you that as well uh, in this but we're gonna have some fun we have the last time in colorado we did not have the vertex suspension and the lift so now we do so we're, we're about sasquatch height here um, so now we have that and i'm going to be able to use and, and take that down to it is, does have the adjustable reservoir so that's going to be a lot of fun so we didn't have that last time I went to colorado so i'm looking forward to seeing how that does um, a lot of fun. Yes. Let's see what else. I got anything else inside? I don't think so. Car seat needs to come out before we leave. No. I do have the uh, dash cam up there. That we'll use mainly just for, you know, getting some of the footage. But we are going to set up, we'll set up the GoPro up here that connects to my phone so I can see the front of the, the trail and everything. By the way, I love my AG lights. I've got light, lights here as well. We're going to be lit up on the trail. I uh, don't know if we're going to do any off uh, night off-roading, probably not, but uh, rough country winch on the front. But we're going to put that GoPro up there. And I think we're going to put a second GoPro up here where I had it last year for Colorado and such, except I got an extension for it to set up a little higher and out in front so that we can get more of a downward angle of the trail. So we'll see if we can get some better footage this time. And I have my other, my third GoPro that I had that I might, for a couple trails, I might slap it on on the fender and try to get some angles over here and put that extension off over here and get some cool shots and footage of that we'll see so who knows hopefully we get some good footage for you guys uh this week all right that's all i have for you for this video um again oh man we're excited we can't wait um we got the thing pretty much ready actually those chairs i need to go put in the back of the bronco so we don't forget those um we'll go do that um but yeah other than that i think we're ready we're excited uh to go do get off-road and do some vacation time uh what i love about colorado going off-road is you're off grid so we let text people just let you know we're heading on the trail now uh, we'll see you later tonight <laughs> don't even try to contact us you're not gonna be able to reach us uh up there so i like that you know nice to get away from everybody enjoy some time conversation in the trails and having some fun seeing some beautiful views um colorado um and uh yeah looking forward to it and we'll get some good footage for you guys so be looking for that video as well as the air up and air down video which we'll probably do while we're there and then the footage from the uh, from going off road and everything will be probably the, the previous week so anyway hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh hope you guys enjoy it and drop down what different camping things that you put in yours that i didn't mention or what are some things that I did mention that you're like, oh, I'm adding that to my camping list of things. And I don't think I'm going to put a list down below, but if you have, ask any questions, if you have anything here, you're like, hey, I want to know where you got that because I want one of those. Um, top, put that down in the comments down below and I'll respond with that information because most of the stuff my wife got <laughs> for the camper. So I'd have to ask her where she got it. Most of it off of Amazon, to be honest. Um, but there you go. All right. That's it, folks. Hope you guys have a great day week i know i am and <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys are staying positive and be kind to one another and don't forget to be kind to yourself as well and we'll see you later